Welcome back to Bunches of Lunches Summer Edition! But before we get started, give us a big thumbs up! And don't forget to subscribe! This week's the shout out goes to Katarina! And our Instagram shout outs go to Jamie and Mackenzie! Now let's, let's get started. started! Today's video is sponsored by Colonel Seasons! And that is perfect for today's lunch because we're doing a movie lunch. You guys have probably heard of dinner and a movie, but today we're doing a lunch and a movie with custom made popcorn. Each of these kids get to choose their own special flavor. Let me show you how I made the lunches today. I started by popping lots of popcorn, and then I went ahead and added a little bit to these really cute popcorn containers. Each kid's gonna have their own. And I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of kernel seasons on each of them. Each of the kids picked out their own special flavoring, so we're having a good variety here. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and toss the popcorn around to coat it in the yummy flavoring. Now if you're curious, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description box below if you wanna find these on Amazon. And rumor has it that these will be a part of a lightning deal on Amazon Prime Day, which is on Monday. Also in today's lunch, I'm gonna give the kids some chocolate covered raisins. I just have a very small box that's perfect for a lunch. I always love chocolate covered raisins when I'm watching a movie. Of course, we have our special drinks today. These have really cute characters on them and the kids each picked out their own special character. For our veggie today, I took a little container and I added a little bit of ranch to the bottom and then I stuck as many carrots as I could in there. Next, I'm giving them each a yogurt pouch. You'll notice all of these foods today are finger foods. We don't need any forks or spoons or anything like that. Perfect for eating while we're watching a movie. So last thing, I'm gonna go ahead and give the kids a hot dog. We had these left over from Griffin's birthday party, so they're perfect for today's lunch. And I went ahead and wrapped them in some foil to keep them warm until the kids are ready to dig in. And there you have it. Today's lunch came out super fun. I did put them in these little trays. These would be perfect for watching a movie. You could even bring them in the car. It keeps everything contained and it's a fun change from our regular plates. I chose bacon and cheddar for my popcorn. What did you pick, Jack? Caramel corn. Ooh. What did you pick, Lily? I picked white cheddar. Cheddar. Ah, we did my caramel. Chocolate covered raisin. Ooh, yummy. Now the kids could have eaten their lunch and watched the movie at the same time, but they finished so quickly. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the show. Guess what movie we're watching? La la la! Let us know in the comments down below if you know what movie this is. Hi guys, and happy Tuesday. For today's lunch, I'm going to give the kids a few things that they've never tried before, and we're also going to do an activity they've never tried before, so it's gonna be super fun, and a little bit on the spicy side. I'm starting with this brown bread. This is the famous brown bread from the Cheesecake Factory restaurant. I'm gonna go ahead and heat up the bread. To go along with this, I'm going to give the kids some cheese but instead of slices of cheese, I'm going to give them a cheese dip. Now this, again, is a little bit spicy. This dip has cream cheese, Parmesan cheese, some artichokes, a few jalapenos. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a bowl, and to make sure it's not too spicy, I'm going to add a little bit of sour cream. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up, and I'm gonna go ahead and microwave it until it's warm. When it's warm, I'm going to add a couple of dollops to each bowl so that the kids can actually spread it on their bread when they're ready to eat it. To go along with this, I'm also giving the kids some turkey pepperoni, something they've definitely had before and they always enjoy, but it is on the spicy side, but it's not too spicy for them. To make this really fun, I'm going to add it to my skewer. This definitely makes it look cute and the kids enjoy it. Now that my bread is warmed up, I'm gonna go ahead and slice it into rounds. And I'm gonna go ahead and just give the kids three to start off with, just in case they don't like it. For our vegetable today, I'm gonna to go with some broccoli. The kids have not had broccoli in a while, and it's one of their favorites. And of course, I'm also going to include a little bit of ranch to dip in. For our fruit today, I'm going with some seedless red grapes. Now since this is a spicy lunch, we're gonna include a lava monster and some molten lava 
cakes. The kids have never had these before, but it's perfect for today's lunch. I know they're gonna love them. And I think they're gonna love the activity later as well. Hello! Are you ready for your spicy lunch? Yeah! Dig in, and then afterwards we'll play a special game. What is it? The floor is lava. Yeah! <laughs> That's perfect for a lava spicy themed lunch. I was very happy to see that all the kids were willing to try the spicier food. And of course, I think Lily's little cheese mustache is so funny. She gave it a thumbs up. Lava monster! And now it's time to heat up our molten lava cake. Now these came frozen at my grocery store and all I had to do was heat them up for 30 seconds and they were nice and gooey and warm inside. Oh, done! Okay, pretty good. Okay, go ahead and push this to the side and grab your lava cake. Open it up! Ooh. Whoa! Wow. That's cool! It's a flower! Uh, Ooh. Ooh. Chocolate mess! Chocolate mess! Oh, yeah, there's chocolate inside! <laughs> it smells like a brownie! Ooh. Ooh. Jackson's worked! So what did you think of the lava cake? It was yummy! Uh -huh. Yeah! But my tummy is too full! Do you know what happens when you eat too much lava cake? I do! You turn into lava monster! <laughs> and now it's time for our fun activity of the day. We're going to our favorite park to play The Floor is Lava. When someone says The Floor is Lava, the kids have five seconds to get off of the floor. If they're left on the floor, they might become a lava monster. And then that lava monster's job is to tag somebody else. I'm safe, maybe. I'm safe. If they tag them, they might become a lava monster too. I'm the lava monster now. I don't think they are safe. Here comes a lava monster. She made it, they didn't touch her. She's the winner. Hi guys and happy Wednesday. Today we have a full day of dentist appointments and so we're on the go. So one of our favorite places to stop for lunch when we're on the go is Chick-fil-A. Today, instead of getting kids meals, I just went ahead and ordered a bunch of different things for everyone to share. We have french fries and chicken nuggets and a big salad and a fruit cup. We have a drink, we have a milkshake, just lots of things for everyone to share. And of course, we have lots of different sauces to dip in. My favorite is the classic Chick-fil-A sauce. And of course, we love the playground at Chick-fil-A as well. It's so fun. All the kids love it. Hello, friends, and welcome to Thursday. Today we have a very special lunch. You can probably tell we're going with a peanut butter theme. We love peanut butter in this house and so today's lunch is going to be a winner. Now I am going with a non-peanut themed vegetable today. We're just going to go with some simple carrots. To go along with that we have a very interesting peanut butter flavored yogurt. I've had this before and it's not really my favorite but the kids they enjoy it. But I think one whole yogurt is going to be too much with this lunch. I'm going to go ahead and split it up. So Mackenzie and Jackson will share one and then Lily and Griffin will share one as well. 
This yogurt comes with a peanut granola topping, so I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some on there. And now on to our PB&Js. Today I'm using this special Reese's peanut butter, but it's not sweetened like the candy. It really just tastes like regular peanut butter. And then Lily requested that we use honey instead of jam today. To make this cute, I'm gonna go ahead and use my heart-shaped cookie cutter. And I'm gonna go ahead and give the kids just half of a sandwich. Since we have so much other fun stuff in this lunch today, I think a whole sandwich would just get wasted. Oh yes, I got some really cute new lunch picks. I found these at Target. My Target never had these before, so I was really happy to see them. And if you're looking for them, they're with the back to school items. Next, I'm going to take about a teaspoon of peanut butter and put it in this little container. And this is to go with the apples. In this corner, I have just enough space for a special treat. This is a peanut butter cartwheel cookie from Trader Joe's. So it's basically a sugar cookie with peanut butter in the middle. For a snack today, I'm also giving the kids some of these Nutter Puffs. Now these are not sweet at all. It's more of a savory snack with a peanut butter flavor. And then on this other side, I'm going to add our apple slices. Today we have a peanut butter-tastic lunch. It's full of nuts, peanuts. Lunchtime is over and here's how they did. There's a little bit left in everyone's lunchbox. What happened? We were full. We were full. Mm -hmm. I don't really like peanut butter. He doesn't like peanut butter and honey. But peanut but that peanut butter and honey is her favorite. Mm-hmm. Yep. And Kenzie's. And Kenzie's. Well we can save this for later. All these things can be saved for later and be totally fine. I am gonna eat Jackson's. You're gonna eat his sandwich? Okay. Are you guys ready for the mystery box? Yeah! So I actually know what's inside because I know who sent it. It's from a YouTube family called Summers in Alaska. You guys, they have an awesome channel. I will link them down below. So I know what's in this box because I watched them make it in a vlog. But these guys, they don't know what it is. Because we, we didn't watch the video. Right. Now we've actually had this box for quite a while, but since we've been traveling, I wanted to save it. Are you guys ready to see what's inside? Yeah! Go ahead and open it. Okay. Dear Mackenzie, Jackson, Lily, and Griffin, you've been tagged in the YouTube Kids Craft Challenge. All you have to do is make a craft for another YouTube family and send it to them. Aww. We had so much fun making these Disney soaps and paint dough for you. <gasps> what? Oh, you get to decorate. How oh, cute okay. is this? Thank you, Evelyn. Ooh, what? little they're soap. The little soap shaped as Disney thing. Oh, those are so cute. A Mickey yeah. and a castle. That is so cute. Did you guys know you could make your own soap? No. That is a fun craft. We're gonna have to think of what kind of craft we should make. Thank you, Summers in Alaska. They know my favorite color. Do you know your favorite color is purple? Yeah. Is your howdy, 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 friends. Today we have another special themed lunch. Last week we did a Buzz themed lunch from Toy Story in honor of the new Toy Story Land opening at Disney World. And of course this week we're gonna go with a Woody themed lunch. We love Toy Story and Woody is definitely one of my favorite characters. So for today's lunch, we're actually gonna make some dishes that they're serving at Toy Story Land at Disney World. And the first one's called tachos. And it's basically like nachos, but instead of using chips, you use tater tots, extra crispy ones. And to go on top of that, I'm going to add some chili. This is an organic vegetarian chili and the kids really like it. It's not too spicy. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat up the chili and then spoon several tablespoons right on top of our warmed up tater tots. It's smelling good already. Next, I'm gonna add lots of shredded cheese. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and add a dollop of sour cream. I'm trying to make it just like they do at Disney World. And then finally, I'm gonna add a few pieces of green onion. Mm -hmm. 
And there you have it. These tachos look really fun and smell delicious. To go along with this, I'm going to give the kids a classic Baby Bell cheese. The Toy Story Land area at Disney World is actually sponsored by Baby Bell cheese. So you'll actually see a lot of Baby Bell cheese decor at Disney World. For our vegetable today, I'm giving the kids a few slices of cucumber. And for our fruit, I'm using strawberries because strawberries make me think of Lotso the Strawberry Scented Bear. Now for a special treat today, I'm also going to give the kids a few pieces of this cowboy bark. It definitely makes me think of Cowboy Woody. Now this is dark chocolate with toffee, pretzels, cookies, peanuts. I get this at Trader Joe's. I'm not sure if the kids are going to like it because it is dark chocolate, but we shall see. I'm just going to give them a few pieces. And that is it. This lunch came out super cute. I think the kids are going to love it. Now today we kept our activity super simple since it was over a hundred degrees outside. We stayed home with the kids put on Toy Story 3 and we all watched Griffin with his new birthday toys. We actually forgot to give him this little trampoline. We bought it and then we put it away and forgot about it. So we ended up just giving it to him today and he is loving it. And I'm loving his cute woody jammies. Okay, fudgies, let us know in the comments down below out of all the lunches this week, which one was your favorite? And stay tuned because I have some very special themed lunches coming up, including the highly requested unicorn lunch. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.